a whole lot. Cause now the senior citizens can feel safe walking in the buildings, and plus they're putting the cameras up now. So that's a blessing right there too. When I read part of the ruling to him, those who are routinely subjected to stops are overwhelmingly people of color. He actually got angry, and they are justifiably troubled to be singled out when many of them have done nothing to attract the unwanted attention. She just want black people to get killed. That's all. That's how I look at it. Because if she was real about it, she would say something about it. She just covering it up. Because deep down, she don't care. He thinks crime is set to go back up again. He also criticized politicians who oppose stop and frisk, but ignore the violence happening in his neighborhood. For WNYC, I'm Arun Van Gogh. The city is vowing to appeal the judge's decision and will fight to maintain stop and frisk as is. But with Mayor Bloomberg's term ending in four and a half months, it'll be up to the next mayor to determine just what will happen. WNYC's Jessica Gould caught up with some of the candidates to hear what they would do. The leading Democratic candidates for mayor said...